So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. <sighs> just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. Well, I, uh... I figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. <clears throat> Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... <clears throat> No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do- All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Let's try this one. All right. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah. Just need to send that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. Do the math, Allison. Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Preta rep. 
What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be- What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Allison, do you... What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but... Never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is... Ow! Broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Oh, come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. 
And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just scrolled and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! 
You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Hey, look what I found. Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better.
So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Morning, Hello, middle-aged adult. Can I help you with something? Long time no see, Officer Greggs. Uh, I'm sorry. Do, do we know each other? Tyler Ronan. Oh, of course. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy. What do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, I'm sorry. she was. I got so I'll need her information too. Totally can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. <coughs> come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to get the statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. I was already running for Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. 
And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. What about those missing people posters? I could pretend I've seen someone. Yeah, sure. Might work. Huh. Officer? I... I think I saw her. I saw that girl. Oh, which one? Stella Reyes. I'm positive I saw her when we stopped to get coffee on the way in from Juno. At Tommy's, right off the Marine Highway. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I don't think that was her, kid. Stella Reyes's body was found about 50 miles south of Anchorage a couple weeks ago. Oh, man. Poor girl. Yeah, I, uh... I forgot to take that poster down. I'm sorry. Tyler... saying someone's climbing the fence. Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. What happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. smoke you should think about quitting only gets harder the longer you do it yeah I know while you're at it get your sister to stop too If 
Eddie catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Huh. Hey, you. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? What? Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs>